Hi everyone, Andy Trice here, and today I want to talk to you about the new Mass Tracker in After Effects CC. This is a new feature that came in the, the latest Creative Cloud release, and it enables you to do some amazing things. You can take your content, put a mask on it, and actually have that mask track the motion and follow the content inside your base video without really having to do anything special. Um, you're not having to go through and track motion yourself. You basically just draw the mask over where you want it. You hit the Analyze button, it steps through the frames, and you now have a mask that tracks the content in, in that video. So let's go ahead and dive in and take a look, and I'll show you just how easy it is. So what you're seeing here is a video that I've pulled into After Effects, and I've already applied Warp Stabilizer, because this is some footage that I captured with a remote control helicopter. And what we're going to do is create a mask around the fire truck, and we're going to use that to turn the background completely black and white, but we're going to enhance the saturation on the fire truck so that there's more reds. The first thing that we need to do is duplicate the source layer. So we're just going to select the source video, go to edit and copy, and then we're going to go edit and paste. And this is just going to create an exact copy of the video that we have here. Now select the top layer, so the top video, and then we're going to go to the mask tool. In this case, just doing a simple rectangle mask. And I'm going to draw a rectangle right over the fire truck. Now I'm going to go and have the free transform control so I can rotate the mask. What I'm going to do is actually make the mask just slightly smaller than the fire truck so that I can actually, in the, the mask effect settings, I can put a feather around it so that there's a nice little blend and it'll, and it'll end up being just slightly larger than the fire truck when all is said and done. So I've got it pretty close, now let me just go ahead and zoom in so that I can really focus right in on the fire truck and make sure that it looks pretty accurate. I'm going to make some minor changes, change the size just a little bit more. Also I want to change the rotation just a, just a hair. And again as I mentioned I want the mask to be just slightly smaller than the fire truck because I'm going to feather that mask when I apply the effects. Now in the tracker panel, we just want to analyze the frames. So we'll click on the little forward tracking button, and this will analyze every frame of the video to determine the motion of the mask. And you can see that as it progresses, the mask is actually following the motion of the fire truck. Now it looks like the tracking is complete, so let's go ahead and turn off the, the bottom layer, and you can see that we've now got a fire truck, uh, and the mask follows that fire truck, so we're not seeing any of the background area. Let's go ahead and feather this, this mask just a bit, and expand the mask just a bit, and then once we turn that back on, you can't really see it right here, but we actually have a separate mask just isolating the fire truck from the background. Now let's go ahead and apply some effects to it. So let's go to the effects window, and now let's select hue and saturation, and we're going to drop that right on the background. And what I want to do is reduce the saturation so the background essentially goes into black and white. Then we'll adjust the lightness to just to make it a hair darker. And now let's take hue and saturation again, and we'll drop it on the top layer, on the mask, just to increase saturation and bring out more reds in the fire truck. Now at this point you could export it if that's what you wanted. I'm just going to tweak it a little bit more. I'm going to adjust brightness and contrast on the bottom layer really to make that fire truck stand out just a little bit more. So I'm going to increase contrast and we hit play and you can see that we've now got the fire truck which is completely red really standing out from the background as it drives along the road. Now let's take a look at what the final product actually looks like. If you'd like to learn more about all of Adobe's tools, be sure to check out my blog at tricedesigns.com and definitely don't miss out on Creative Cloud. Go to creative.adobe.com to learn more and become a member today.